So right now we are two weeks into the busy spring break travel season at MCO and each day for the next month the airport says it just might be breaking records. We told you how just last weekend the Orlando International Airport set a record for most passenger traffic ever in one day. And that means the tarmac, too, is busier than ever. So how exactly is the airport protecting passengers and moving planes around safely? Only News 6's Eric Von Inc. and got an exclusive look at the state-of-the-art aircraft control system at MCO's new Terminal C. The old way, it's been the towers, like the big one here in the middle of the airport, and even smaller ones like that one at the top of the terminal that have been responsible entirely for those planes moving around down there. The thing is, from the tower, you can't always see around every corner, which, as we've seen, has caused problems at other airports. So there at the new terminal, they don't need to use the tower. They got a room. You're looking at a modern day air traffic control tower, except as you can see, it's not a tower. It's a windowless conference room deep inside MCO's new Terminal C that uses cameras and sensors to see instead of windows. It's called virtual ramp control or VRC. The airport recorded this video for us because the VRC room is a secure area with FAA trained personnel watching the wall of TVs and computer monitors to guide planes into, out of, and around the airport's ramp. That's the area in front of the boarding gates. So the unique nature of the technology is so advanced and so the tower, as you can see from here, you know, is geared to look at most of the airfield, but um, part of it, it just can't reach the far end, especially on this. So when we were building Terminal C, we realized that the line of sight was going to get some constraints. The airport CEO explains the tower controls planes on the runways and taxi area, but from that height, it's nearly impossible for controllers to see all the way down to the individual gates, which is where most accidents happen. Last month, we told you about the two incidents at New York area airports where planes clearly Flipped each other's wings as they were parking, taking four aircraft out of commission. With VRC at Terminal C, controllers even have a virtual map pinpointing every plane at every minute of the day or night, so there should be no accidents because no planes should be moving unless controllers can see for sure that they're clear. VRC is starting to go in at airports around the world, but it's easier, of course, to build it into a new terminal like see there in the distance instead of retrofitting it at an old terminal. But that's what MCO CEO says he is looking at right now, trying to bring that technology also here at the terminals A and B. At MCO, Eric Von Eiken getting results. News 6.